May was World Menstrual Hygiene Day. And as part of our commemoration of World Menstrual Hygiene Day, we deem it very necessary to talk about issues that are affecting women, mm -hmm. especially young women, because this is women and youth. Yeah. So young women in the Gambia, let's say worldwide basically. Mm -hmm. So as we all know, um, my own argument about this uh, very topic is everyone is advocating for certain things right now. People yeah. are advocating for the better access or availability of uh, sanitary products to girls mm -hmm. and other people are uh, trying to educate girls on issues on how to maintain a good menstrual hygiene. Yeah. But my own issue is the free access or availability of sanitary pads to girls. Mm -hmm. For example, what I always argue, we had this argument downstairs, mm -hmm. definitely on um, the availability of sanitary pads. Yeah. If pads are, if condoms are free, mm -hmm. I'm not saying condoms are more important than sanitary pads, yeah. but if condoms went to that extent to be free, why can't sanitary pads be free? So I'm wondering, um, it's a natural course that we go through every month. So if anyone can just walk into a pharmacy, request for a condom and get it, yeah. why can't uh, young people who are going through so many troubles because of their monthly periods period. to go inside a pharmacy and request for a sanitary pad? This is the topic that I brought on the platform and I would like to know your views. Do you think that uh, these things should be available to uh, young people for free or do you think it needs uh, time for you know, uh, looking deeper into it before we can give this to young people, or young girls. I mean, linga, linga, and linga can lo lo important. But the so called state, I mean, you know, I am not law hamet, I am so hard on the court. But the linga we have, we are not saying I am right, I am free condom. You know, I am one of you. I am right, I am one of free parts. But the government will be from the law. Linga, so yeah, we will suffer. But so let them have this. No one can say I am jealous. Why come when you are so mad? You don't care about them. Then like, then like you are more so. You know, like you are not. Why come generation? So what I the reason why I brought this on the platform today is to hear the gentleman's aspect or their own opinion on this. Because we cannot just fight this alone. We yeah. need you guys on board. So uh, I'm going to start with Omar. Omar, please tell us what you think about this topic. Do you support or you think there are things to be done before we can go on ahead and implement this? Um, yes, a personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Not an expert opinion. Okay, okay. okay. my personal opinion is that I mean, so long as it is a personal use, mm -hmm. and it is not the responsibility of the state to provide personal issues to people. It is not. Mm -hmm. so it is not the responsibility of the state. No, yeah, it's personal. Yeah, it's then personal. if uh, so if, if you claim if you, and you can get why is it free? No, no, if, if you claim that you should have sanitary materials yeah. for your personal use, mm -hmm. then someone also can claim I need food for my personal use. But these are issues so you're looking, that... You're looking at, you're looking at uh, what is more reasonable. Here, uh, should mo should the government pump into money something that could be in existence, and there will be no problem? Because I don't think whether a lady cannot manage her menstrual cycle. You don't. I, think I don't that know. I don't think whether. Yeah, can. exactly. And we have so many ways where we should pump money. We have priorities. We have okay, condom is a priority then. Condom is a priority. Condom, condom is a priority for babies and women. But but when it comes to the, the sanitary part, it's only a priority on the women. Mm -hmm. Women and. But for condom is both. That, that will bring in So I think that's the reason behind giving condom free okay. than giving sanitary parts free. I know perhaps. Well, that is where you are wrong because sanitary parts they are not only beneficial to women and men. Mm -hmm. Imagine you having a wife or a daughter or a sister or a mother that has to uh, have you know access to sanitary parts and it's not having it. Both of you will have you feel that heat on you because you wouldn't want your woman to be staying around you with a poor menstrual hygiene. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to advocate for her own access to sanitary pads. So I believe that it's not a thing that we should just associate to women. Mm -hmm. We all have a part to play, a play with it to it, and also we all have the same you know uh, disadvantages to it. If I feel it, you're going to feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, well, give me, give me an energy game. You are ready to listen, but I'm not having any. They don't care. So you need to give them inspiration. So I'm prepared. 
da amna yo xamantene yo sa war lo mangu sa samoram man mu na ne kadim gis ma mezo yo sa war lo ko xam waye amna ño xamne respecte sen cycle hmm ya dimne cycle sen ba bi tok ko sen bo xamne tan ne wa war sa mo sa di ha xam na le na la ni yo dama sangu war nga dem ci sa pad do nek lo xamantene it done bu ma ñu laaj la yo sen sale parce que yaay mak de wikan di yengal bokum bo xamne de bo i mean i don't think this is a woman issue I mean, this 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 is a men, thank you. Yeah, this is a healthcare issue, and mm-hmm. we have signed a social contract with our government, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, what Omar has said, I don't think uh, it has to do with personal or non-personal. <laughs> the state <laughs> has the state has a responsibility. <laughs> no, the state has a responsibility. Yeah. I mean, we have seen a lot of people. Like I grew up in North Bank region, mm-hmm. which is which is dominated by mosquitoes in the in the <laughs> right? and the government has been coming to our aid they've been giving us uh, mosquito nets for free yeah. although it's a person so that will be a yardstick right yeah. and no 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 I, i'm coming this is this is a need of a woman right uh, going up i have seen uh when i was in junior school i see the same class with, with the girls and there's this girl who who had this men's men's in, in the classroom and she was so embarrassed mm-hmm. right because i mean she got nothing to help herself with mm-hmm. yeah. but if government can it's not going to be like a force but if government can do it it's going to be a great help mm-hmm. and if government cannot do it we are we have a lot of private sector in this country yeah. we have a lot of people doing their business philanthropists, philanthropists can do it yeah. like we have young activists doing it for the people like you are a big brother in your house you can sacrifice and be buy it for your younger sister's money yes. uh-huh. i mean we can we have to put all our hand on it and Oh, I mean, there's, there's yes. amazing um, lady uh, that Buba, is creating. What we say is a concern and is important. Yeah. Yeah. That um, health issue, we don't tolerate about health. It's a priority. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then, what is important at the moment is empowerment. Mm-hmm. It's not to remove money and give it to people. That's what I was about to say. It's empowering women. And that's why like like the, women like the, the women up. The women up is silence about menstrual hygiene. Why? It's because the women up is advocating for empowerment. And when people are being empowered, But then they are not going to demand the same thing as your aid is from the government. You see the, 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 the logic? People should uh, advocate for empowerment. Mm-hmm. When they, once they are empowered, then all these candidacies that the government should give them or $25, they should not think about that. Yeah, they, they should think about how do you empower them. If, 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 if you are a youth mm-hmm. and you have a very good business plan, what the government should do, they should give you a priority to give you money to invest. Mm-hmm. If you invest, perhaps you will be taking care of yourself and people will be around you. That's the priority. But whether they're going to give condom for free or menstrual hygiene is not a priority. Yeah, but if I'm they're sorry, doing it, if they're doing it, can you excuse me? Can you excuse me? So don't ask, can you excuse me? Yeah, okay. so I, 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 I don't want to say one thing on the record. Mm-hmm. This morning, so, it's not an attack on anybody. It's not an attack on any government or an organization. Mm-hmm. And Omar, according to my observation, You are always busy to try the government, even if you are sometimes, you know, looking at the reason or the exactly. logic. Because uh, what you said earlier and your second coming is totally, is, is, is totally different, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, we are going to send this morning so for speaking truth, regardless of personal or yeah. government. Well, you know what I'm saying? You know, sort of like, you know, do you get that? At first, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At first, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> at first, I told you, it was my personal opinion. After my personal opinions, looking at health as a priority under the government and looking at the social economic status or the status quo of this country mm-hmm. what is needed is empowerment mm-hmm. but with that is why that is why none of our parents ask for this money who are you going to empower the people you, you empower the people that's right. so person used to the people but so long as you mm-hmm. categorically spell it into a category of people mm-hmm. Which was not clearly stated even by the women, the advocate of the women. It That's not what they are advocating. Not their advocate is smart, Omar. Um, Omar, Omar. 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 We 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 have we 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 have like uh, in in politics, right? Uh, there there are people who say, uh, like for me, I don't respect bad laws, but they are laws, right? And it doesn't mean that all laws are correct. If that if if if, if there's a if there's a vacuum, mm-hmm. we can step in. The government should not see. And or sit or rest on their laurels and say, look, I mean, the woman act doesn't cover this. I'm not going to do it. 
on Jollof Girls right here on Sahel Network TV. 